Now, first, shuffle the cards. Oh, shuffle, right. <laughs> Let's skip shuffling, shall we? All right, now we each get a card face down. Now, wait a minute. If your card is face down, I can't tell what it is. That's the whole point. The whole point of what? Never mind. Now, we each get a card face up. How come? Stop asking questions. Just do whatever I tell you. Okay. All right, hit me. What? Hit me. What did you do that for? You said hit me. I didn't mean for you to hit me. Then why did you say it? Because I wanted another card. Then, then why didn't you say Eugene? I want another card. <laughs> I would have given you one. Judgment time. Hey, Booch. Lost Booches. Lost Moron. <laughs> hey, listen up. I come bearing gifts. Freshly made, hot off the press, genuine. Fake IDs. Great! All right. Look at this. I'm 22 and I'm from Bangor, Maine. I'm from Miami and I'm in the Air Force. Yeah, you're a full colonel. Way to go, Pooch. You really came through for us. No problem. Hey, how's it coming from your end? Great. I called Lucky 7 Motel and reserved their best room. Bus tickets? Right here, along with a coupon for a free pecan roll at Stucky's. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing in the excuse department? I told my mother, Mrs. Bernice Blueberry, <laughs> that my old Boy Scout troop was having an emotion-packed, tearful reunion this weekend. She bought that? Yeah, but by lying to my mother, I broke in the Blueberry Code of Honesty, which is crocheted on a kitchen towel and hangs in our rec room. <laughs> I'm feeling plenty guilty. You want to know how to get over that feeling? Sure, how? Just think about the possibility that while you were in Vegas, you can have your first sexual experience. So anyway, Booch, <sighs> what'd you tell your father? Eh, uh, nothing. He won a case of champagne in a raffle, so he won't know I'm gone till Wednesday. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna tell my mom. Yeah, you're gonna need something good to fool her. She's like an actual parent. Tell me about it. More meatloaf, honey? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, I usually have seconds of my meatloaf. Well, not tonight. Uh, something wrong? No, I'm fine. Uh, something is wrong. I never could fool you, Mom. Talk to me, Chaz. Well, it's just that here we are in this big house eating all this food when there are a lot of people out there who are going without. I'm talking about the homeless, the jobless, the meatloafless. I know it. It bothers me, too. Just... Well, the thing is, I want to devote my life to changing things. Chaz! That's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Really? Yes. Great. Then I'll become a priest. No. Why not? Well, well, for one thing, you're not even Catholic. I know. I have a long road ahead of me. Oh, well, where does this come from? Oh, what makes you think you have the calling? Real late last night, right after Crosswitz, <laughs> Something drew me to my bedroom window. What was it? A beautiful white light shining over the shell station. <laughs> and as the light rose, I heard beautiful rhythmic singing. Jazz, that's the Cuban discotheque. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. But how do you explain the incredible feeling that surged through my body? 
The five helpings of lasagna ate last night. <laughs> Sorry, Chaz, but this is a hard thing for me to grasp. I know. I'm struggling with it, too. That's why I need to be sure I'm making the right decision. There's a place for people like me. It's a retreat for those who are thinking of serving the church. The Lucky Seven Seminary. <laughs> How long do you think you'll be there? Three days, two nights. <laughs> you, you pray, meditate, read scrolls, make sandals. I see. So can I go, Mom? Well, uh... Okay. Great, thanks. But I think I should go with you. Why? Well... <laughs> it seems so interesting. You know, I, I, I've never been to a religious retreat before. You can't go, Mom. Why not? Uh, because it's all guys. And they've taken vows of celibacy. If they see a knockout like you, all those years of good behavior, right out the window. <laughs> Uh-huh. Chess. I'll call you as soon as I get there. Right now, I need to pack a few simple belongings. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling he won't end up a priest, but that he will end up in confession? <laughs> Welcome to Vegas, fellas, and the Lucky Seven Motel. This is our motel room? Yes. This is the Sonny Bono suite. <laughs> he slept here? Well, no, but he stopped by once and asked for directions. <laughs> by the way, it's true. He does have a large nose. I'm confused. Your brochure has a picture of a beautiful hotel with palm trees and girls and bikinis. That's Caesar's Palace. <laughs> you see this satellite dish in the background? Yeah? We're a block behind it. Oh. <laughs> now, listen very carefully, gentlemen. Uh, the truck sleeps three. <laughs> Your own television set. Fifteen minutes for a quarter. <laughs> you want magic fingers? Start the engine. <laughs> but leave the garage door open. Otherwise, you'll die. Hello? Hello, Mom. I'm at the Lucky Seven Seminary. Oh, good. Give me the phone number. You want home lumber? What, are you building something? <laughs> Chaz, the phone number. A bone bumper. Uh, we must have a bad connection. I gotta go. I don't want to be late for Vespers. Coming, Brother Matthew. Chance. Bless you, Mom. The Lucky Seven Motel. <laughs> I think I'm getting the calling myself. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's the matter? I'm lying to my mom like that. It's one thing to tell a little white lie, but to tell her that I'm at a religious retreat when I'm really in Las Vegas. Yeah, it makes you feel kind of low, huh? The lowest. Well, I'll get over it. <laughs>
evening, gentlemen. Oh, hi. Nice oh, great bag. Uh, Mind showing me some ID? Yeah. Take a look at this pup. <laughs> Yours, sir. Oh, I understand. <laughs> You know, it's a curse to have such a young face. Everywhere I go, can I see your ID? Can I see your ID? I look young. I don't know why. <laughs> I also know why I'm talking so much. Except you look lonely. Thank you, sir. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Colonel Blooperman. <laughs> Addy, soldier. Man, is this place great or what? Yeah, it's boring. Now, Circus Circus has trapeze acts and dancing bears. And they'll paint your face like a real live clown for free. <laughs> well, let's kill some time in this boring place first, OK? Yeah, we'll take you to see the dancing bear later. <laughs> Blackjack, my kind of game. Hi. Deal us in. I'm sorry, sir, but you can't bet a nickel. How come? Minimum bet is two dollars. Two bucks? Pretty darn steep. Come on, high roller, loosen up. Hit me. Bust. Two bucks shot in less than a minute. That's money I'll never see again. God, history archives. I'm glad you didn't bet three bucks. Quiet, sir. Okay. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> what have you got, Eugene? Forty-eight. <laughs> Dealer wins. But isn't forty-eight even better than twenty-one? <laughs> no. Eugene, you can't go past 21. I didn't know that. Isn't that a do-over? <laughs> Don't I get my money back? No. Stable's ice cold. Let's leave. Guys, this seems like a waste of time to me. I want to go to Circus Circus. <laughs> Eugene, if you want to go to Circus Circus, why don't you just leave, leave? OK. I'll win a couple of stuffed bunnies for you. Can't wait. <laughs> You know anything about craps, Pooch? Yeah, sure, it's like dice, only you don't play in an alley. <laughs> Let's go for it. New shooter. New shooter coming out. Okay, watch your pro in action. All right. Fifteen bucks on the line. Come on, babe. Poochie needs some new leather. <laughs> nine, nine, the field, nine, nine to win. What's that mean? I threw nine, so I got to throw another nine again to win. Aha. Uh -huh. If you throw a 7-Eleven on your first throw, you win automatic. If you throw any other number, you got to throw it again to win. Except if you throw a 2, 3, or 12, which means you lose. Sounds simple. <laughs> Seven, a loser. It is simple. <laughs> Try again. OK, I feel lucky this time. Come on, seven. Come on, seven. 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 Gucci needs a diamond earring. Snake eyes! Hey, watch it, fella! No chance. I threw a pair of one snake eyes. Oh, <laughs> sorry. New shooter. Now's the time to make a bet. New shooter coming out. All right, that's me. Hey, Chaz, you don't even know how this game works. I'm a seasoned veteran, and I got no one. Yeah, you're right. You'll probably just be throwing money away. Seven! You got a winner here. Hey, you won. You won. I did. <laughs> Did I, did I win that? You certainly did, sir. Care to shoot again? Should I? Yeah, why not? Go for it. Well, OK, maybe I will. But just one more time. Speaking of hot streaks. Hi, I'm Bambi. I play the Statue of Liberty in the show here, Lido di Freedom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chaz. But the folks around here call me the arm. Hey, come on, arm. You're still shooting. Let's bet another grand, yeah, another grand. 
This one's for you, Lady Liberty. Count of 12 grand. Oh, All right, we went up the stakes. We want to bet five grand this time. Ooh. I'm sorry, sir, but the table limit is 1,000. Oh, really? Well, maybe we should go to another casino. Yeah, yeah. yeah one that isn't afraid to see people win. Yeah. Yeah. Problem, Maurice? Uh, this gentleman wants to bet $5,000. Yeah, uh, we're all taking all our business elsewhere, huh? Yeah. 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 You're covered, sir. All right. All right. Come on, Bib. Chaz wants to go to Harvard. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, Maurice, yeah. what is for the hard way pay? Uh, long shot, sir. Pays uh, eight to one. We'll go for it. We will? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but well, how much, sir? Seven grand. Oh. Seven grand? Yeah, and as far as the rest of it's concerned, let it ride. All, All of it? All of it. And don't tell me the casino's going to wimp out. You're covered, sir. All right! OK, Chaz the Taz, do it, buddy. Come on. Come on. Bambi, would you blow on this for good luck? Sure. Come on, you can do it, baby. Come on. Come on. Get him in there. Look out, bud. Chaz hits the jackpot, and then he really gets lucky. Can we get naked? But his luck won't last. The money's gone. It's gone. And you won't believe what Booch has to do to get it back. I died and went to heaven. Boys will be boys next Saturday on Fox. Later tonight on Mr. President, Madeline Kahn catches the president and his chief advisors playing strip poker. Now stay tuned for Women in Prison next on Fox.